Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Module. This is Lesson 12, Properties of Inequalities. So first of all, we're going to talk about preserving inequality and reversing inequalities. So I've already typed this in to save time. And preserving the inequality means that the inequality symbol will stay the same. And when we reverse the inequality symbol, that means the inequality symbol switches less than with greater than. And it will switch less than or equal to greater than. And we'll be getting into that. So the class is going to do an activity where they're going to be in groups and there are two dice. And when we have two dice, and we are only talking about one of them, the singular for dice is die. And that's where die one and die two come. On one die, we had the numbers 5, negative 3, 4, 2, negative 6, and negative 1. On die 2, they were given negative 5, 6, negative 2, 3, 1, and negative 4. So I've already written down what I rolled here, and then I'm going to roll the other one, and I'm going to get a negative 2, and then I'm going to get a 3, and then a negative 5, and then a 1. Okay, so there's my two rolls, and this is just an example of what we're being asked to do here. So then we want to put an inequality in here. Well, negative 3 is less than 5. Negative 6 is less than negative 2 because it's further to the left on the number line. 2 is less than 3. Negative 1 is greater than negative 5. And 4 is greater than 1. Okay. So now up here they're giving an operation. So the first one was done for us. This one says add 2. So what it's saying is add 2 to negative 3. Put your inequality, add 2 to 5, and show your work, and then simplify. So here I'm going to add negative 3. So I'm going to write negative 6 plus negative 3, the inequality symbol. And then my other rule, negative 2 plus negative 3. And negative 6 plus negative 3 is negative 9, which is less than negative 2 plus negative 3, which is negative 5. Okay. I'm going to continue doing this. This one I have to subtract 2. So I'm going to have 2 minus 2 is less than 3 minus 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, and 0 is less than 1. Okay. Subtract negative 1. So negative 1 minus a negative 1 is greater than negative 5 minus a negative. Okay? So subtracting a negative means to add. So negative 1 plus 1 is greater than negative 5 plus 1. And I get 0 is greater than negative Okay, and then finally add 1. 4 plus 1 is greater than 1 plus 1. 5 is greater than 2. Okay, and then in the last column, the in it's asking, is the inequality symbol preserved or reversed? So when I did this, is this still true? Is negative 9 less than 5? Yes, so the less than symbol stayed, so this is preserved. Is 0 still less than 1? Is that still true? Yes. So when I subtract a 2 from both sides, it is preserved. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I get 0. It's greater than negative 4, and that's still true, so that's preserved. Okay, and then I have 4 is greater than 1. Add 1 to both. 5 is greater than 2. That is also preserved. Okay, so moving along, estimate the results, make a statement about what you notice, and justify with your evidence. Okay. Okay, so here's the answer to this. When a number is added or subtracted to both numbers being compared, the symbol stays the same and the inequality symbol is preserved. Okay. That is the inequality property of addition. What you do to one side, you do to the other, it is still the same inequality. Okay, so now let's move on. Now the other station, they had the same two dies, 
and I'm going to just randomly pick some numbers here. And I'll use 5, negative 6, 2, negative and off the other die, I'm just going to pick some random numbers that were on the other one. Negative 4, 1, 3, negative 2. Okay? So now I want to fill this in, making sure it's true. So is 5 greater than negative 4 or less than? It is greater than. Negative 6 is less than 1. 2 is less than 3. And negative 1 is greater than negative 2. So now it's telling us what we need to do with both sides here. So we're going to multiply by negative 1 both sides. So negative 1 times 5 is greater than negative 1 times negative 4. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Negative 1 times a negative 4 is a positive 4. And look what happened. Negative 5 is not greater than 4, so the sign got flipped, so we're going to write reversed. Okay. Next one. Negative 1 times negative 6 is less than negative 1 times 1. Negative times a negative is positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. And 6 is definitely greater than negative 1. So again, the sign flipped. So that is reversed. Okay. Negative 1 times my first roll of 2. Might be less than, might not. Negative 1 times my second roll of 3. Negative times a positive is negative. Negative times a positive is negative. Negative 2 is greater than negative 3. It's to the right of negative 3 on the number line. The sign flipped again, so it's reversed. Okay. And then finally, negative 1 times negative 1 is greater than negative 1 times negative 2. Negative times a negative is positive. Negative times a negative is positive. 2 is definitely greater than 1, so 1 is less than 2, and the sign flipped, so that is pretty first. Okay, now it says examine the results, make a statement about what you noticed. Okay, so when both numbers are multiplied by negative 1, the symbol changes, and the inequality symbol is reversed. Okay, station three. Take die one, do random drawings. So I'm going to use negative six, four, negative three, and oh, I don't know, one of the ones on that die, five. And then I'm going to use one, three, negative two, six. All right, so there's my choices. Now I've got to put in the correct inequality. So, negative 6 is definitely less than 1, 4 is greater than 3, negative 3 is less than negative 2, 5 is less than 6, and here it says multiply by these values. So, this one was multiplied by a half, and now we're going to multiply by different things. So, it says multiply by 2, so it's going to be 2 times negative 6, maybe less than 2 times Positive times a negative is negative. 2 times 1 is 2. They're both positive. And 2 is definitely greater than negative 12, so it was preserved. So I multiplied by 2, and it was preserved. Now I'm going to divide this one by 2. So it's going to be 4 divided by 2 is greater than 3 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half, and 2 is greater than 1 and 1 half, this line was preserved. Divide by a half, so it's going to be 1, actually let me not use parentheses, 1 half divided by negative 3 is less than 
I'll divide by a half. I'm not dividing by a three. So it's negative three divided by one half is less than negative two divided by a half. Remember this is three over one. This is two over one. I can't divide a fraction by a fraction. We do the multiplicative inverse. It's negative three over one. Keep it. Change the sign and flip it. Flip it and switch it. So I have negative 2 over 1 times the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Over 1 is just negative 6. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And that is divided by 1, so that stays 1. And negative 4 over 1 is negative 4. So negative 6 is less than negative 4. And after all that work, it was preserved. Okay. Multiply by 3. 3, 5, less than 6, 3, or 3, 6. Not that order matters. Oh, okay. 3 times 5 is less than 3 times 6. 15, 18 reserves. Okay. Examine the results. So we multiplied by a half, we multiplied by 2. We divided by 2, we divided by a half, we multiplied by 3. No matter what we multiply or divide by, it seems it preserves. When both numbers being compared are multiplied by or divided by a positive number, the symbol stays the same and the inequality symbol is preserved. So we just prove that multiplying or dividing by positive numbers preserves the inequality. And then finally, station four. Again, from die number one, I'm just going to pick random values. They can mix and match. That's a pattern. How about five? Negative six. Negative one. Four. And the other die, negative five, negative two, three, and one. Okay, write in the inequality. Positive five is greater than negative five. Negative two is greater than negative six, or if negative six is less than negative two. Negative one is less than three. Four is greater than. Now we're going to perform the operation. Multiply by negative 3. Negative 3 times 5 is greater than negative 3 times negative 5. Negative times a positive is negative 15. 3 times 5 is 15. Negative times negative is positive. 15 is definitely greater than negative 15. The sign reversed. Take negative 6, divide it by negative 2. I'm going to do it this way this time. It's less than negative 2 divided by negative 2. Negative divided by negative is positive. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Negative divided by negative is positive. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 is greater than 1. It reversed. Okay. Now I'm going to take negative 1 divided by negative one-half. See if it's less than three divided by negative one-half. I'm going to make my integers ratios. I'm going to do the flip and switch. First, the fraction stays the same. Switch to multiplication and flip the fraction. First, fraction stays the same. Switch to multiplication. Flip the second fraction. Okay. Negative 1 times a negative 2 is a positive 2 over 1, which is just 2. 3 times a negative 2 is negative 6 over 1, which is just negative 6. 2 is greater than negative 6. Notice what the sign did. It reversed. Okay. And the last one. Multiply by negative 1 half. 4 times negative 1 half greater than 1 times negative 1 half. Positive times a negative is negative. Half of 4 is 2.
positive times a negative is negative. One half of one is one half. One negative one half. Negative two is less than negative one half. The sign flipped, reversed. Okay, so examine the results. When both numbers being compared are multiplied by or divided by a negative number, the symbol changes and the inequality symbol is reversed. Okay. Exercise one. Complete the following chart using the given inequality and determine an operation which inequality symbol is preserved and an operation which inequality symbol is reversed. Explain why this. Okay, so here we go. Let's change colors. So I have the inequality 2 is less than 5. Operation and new inequality, which preserves the inequality symbol. And so I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Okay, so I'm going to take this 2 is less than 5. Say 2 plus 4 is less than 5 plus Two plus four is six, five plus four is nine, and six is less than five. Now I want to do an operation with the new inequality which reverses the inequality. So I'm going to take this two is less than five. So this time I'm going to try multiplying both sides by negative four. Okay, so 2 times negative 4 is less than 5 times negative 4. Negative 8, negative 20, now it's flipped. Okay, and I will come back to an explanation actually I'm doing. Okay, so here's our explanation. Adding a number to both sides of the inequality preserves the inequality symbol. Multiplying both sides by an inequality by a negative number reverses the inequality symbol. Moving right along. Make an operation that is not going to do anything to the sign. It's going to preserve it. This time I will subtract 3. So negative 4 minus 3 is greater than negative 6 minus 3. Negative 7 is greater than negative 9. That is true. Preserved. This time I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So I'm going to take negative 4 divided by negative 2 and see if it's greater than Negative 6 divided by negative 2. Negative divided by negative is positive. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Negative divided by negative is positive. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 is definitely greater than 2, so I say 2 is less than 3. And explain. Subtracting a number from both sides of an inequality preserves the inequality symbol. Dividing both sides of an inequality by a negative number reverses it. Okay, now we're getting into a symbol we haven't used yet today, and that's less than and equal. I shouldn't say and equal. That's impossible. Less than or equal. Something can't be less than and equal. Less than or equal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. Negative 1 times 3 is less than or equal to 2 times 3. Negative times a positive is negative 3. Positive times a positive is positive 6. And 6 is definitely greater than negative 3, so the sign did not. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative
still I get negative 1 times negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 1 times 2. Negative times negative is positive. Negative times positive is negative. And 1 is greater than negative 2. So I flip and explain. Since multiplying both sides of an inequality by a positive number preserves the inequality symbol, multiplying both sides of an inequality by a negative number reverses the inequality symbol. All right, next one. This time I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So, I'm going to take negative 2 plus negative 3 plus 5. It's less than not equal. It's less than negative 3 minus 1 plus 5. So, PEMDAS says if we're just adding and subtracting the whole way across, we work left to right. Negative 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 5 plus 5. Is less than negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 4 plus 5. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. And it preserved the inequality. 0 is less than. Okay, now we're going to multiply each side by negative 1 and a half. So I'm going to take negative 2 plus negative 3, and then that's less than negative 3 minus 1. So if we're going to multiply side by negative half, rather than having to do the distributive property, let's just combine like terms now. Negative 2 plus a negative 3 is negative 6. It's less than negative 4. Okay. I'm sorry, I multiplied it. I mean, negative 5, not 6. It's less than negative 4. And now I'm going to multiply each side by a negative. I'm just going to put it in right now. Negative 1 and a half. And then over here, negative. Negative times a negative is positive. 1 half times 5 is a positive 5 halves. Negative times a negative is positive. That's 4 halves. Okay, is that true? No, five halves is more than four halves. So the symbol changes to greater than. Five halves is two and one half. Four halves is two. That helps. Okay, so now to explain. All right, adding a number to both sides of an inequality preserves the inequality symbol. Multiplying both sides of an inequality by a negative number reverses the That is it. Yes, it is. That is the end of lesson 12. But let's do the lesson summary first before we sign off. When both sides of an inequality are added or subtracted by a number, the inequality symbol stays the same, and the inequality symbol is said to be preserved. Okay. Preserved. When both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a positive number, the inequality symbol stays the same, and the inequality symbol is said to be preserved. When both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a negative number, the inequality symbol switches from less than to greater than or from greater than to less than. The inequality symbol is reversed. Boom. That's the end of lesson 12. Your problem.